are Cheryl Goodman. I am the Senior Director of Marketing for Qualcomm Mims Technologies. And what we're showing here today is the Kyobo e-reader. This is a color video enabled device definitely geared for mom's hope that their kids are going to study and use this dedicated device to learn. There's a lot of great applications in here and I'll actually take you on a little ride here to show you some of the features. Um, all the things that we might expect with an Android uh, um, 2.3 uh, system but some extra features in here such as the Kyobo Bookstore. 90,000 titles of uh, rich uh, content, uh, a lot of color content. Of course, that would show up as soon as I said mm -hmm. color content, but uh, let's go back to the store and I'll pull you up. There's two, two and a half thousand uh, video books as well. That's right. There's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, video lecture series, um, and that's in part with our partner, uh, our Kyobo's partner is actually uh, EBS. And so EBS is an educational uh, provider. And so they do a lot of reference material. But here's an example of uh, a fun uh, a book, children's book. Um, I believe they have, um, I forget the exact amount, but a, a high number of children's content, again, geared toward learning device. The display does all the things that we would expect a display to do with regard to touch so and got, response time. We've got multi-touch, we've got color. We've got everything, and then we have Voila, Kyobo. And this, I think, is super important because Kyobo is a publisher. Mm -hmm. And so they're saying, how do we tap the new digital channels that are coming out with devices such as e-readers? How do we leverage all of that color content that we even, uh, uh, that is so much core to our business? So very excited that we're able to launch a first e-reader with such a phenomenal company. Like to, give, to give us a little bit of a refresher on the Mirasol display technology, it's based on the the, the butterfly's wing. That's so right. It, it actually reflects light, and there's actually no backlight here, which makes it um, way more power friendly. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah, uh, using the process of, of interference, um, the, the butterfly really talks about um, uh, no liquid uh, crystal materials, no gels, no toxic materials. It is uh, simply reflected uh, light, and that generates uh, color using the ambient light in the room. So there's not another company that does uses this technology to to generate color in such this way. And so we certainly don't position ourselves to be um, uh, uh, a follow-on or mimicking LCD technology. It really is a very different experience. This is the same contrast as paper. So the a children's cartoon with some annoying music. Did I say that out loud? Oh, mm -hmm. yes, I did. Let me actually pull up another biomimicry video for you too. Seems, to, seems that they only want you to watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of royalty structure, maybe. <laughs> So this is capable of 40 frames a second, but it's running out a little bit less in, in, in the, the video. video. In the video. In the video. And that's, that's a, a purpose design. This is a, a device that certainly has video capability, but mom's hope was not to sit around and have an, another extension of the TV set. Mom's hope was to say, we really want to be in that bookstore. And that's right. where and learning's for, happening. For any type of learning video, like if, if, if you're not requiring any gaming, that's enough to play standard definition video. Completely so. sufficient, and mm -hmm. uh, for concepts of looking at that, you know, periodic element of charts or moving mm -hmm. content or handwriting recognition or all mm -hmm. these things that require interactivity, this is uh, completely suited for that type of activity. Which is why Kiobo was so um, such a supporter of Mirasol technology and really wanted to commercialize their own branded name with this technology.